How do you know if a big number is divisible by 10, 11, or 12? What are the divisibility rules for these two digit numbers? That's what we're going to talk about in this video today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro kanina, pag-uusapan natin yung rules for 10, 11, 12. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung video discussions natin sa 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, the links to those videos will be right here on the i button if you're watching on YouTube or sa description box sa baba. Okay, you can go ahead and watch those first and then balikan nyo ito. Kasi ito yung mga rules ito are a little bit, just a little bit challenging than the rest. Alright, and then require nyo rin yung ilan sa mga digits na yun, which we'll talk about later. But before you do that, just a quick little plug. If you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines, one way that you can do that is through buying our merch. You can visit shop.teamlaika.com to buy yung ating mga hoodies, shirts, caps, mugs, at iba pa. Or you can drop by sa ating stall or sa ating box on Box Green Hills. It's uh, located sa Promenade Hall sa Green Hills mismo. You can just turn right pag akyat dun sa escalator sa cinema and you can find it sa Box 75. Alright? Now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my tablet. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, ito yung lesson natin on divisibility rules. We're going to talk about yung rules sa number 10, 11, and 12. Okay? And uulitin ko rin na please watch yung first two videos kasi gagamitin natin yung ibang konsepto dyan dun sa lesson na ito. Okay? So, if hindi nyo pa na napapanood, the links are there sa i-button if you're watching on YouTube or sa description box sa baba. These are older videos pero okay lang yan kahit hindi ganun ka pareho yung quality. Ang uh, importante nandun yung lesson. Okay? We're going to start with yung 10. This is the simpler part. Ang rule is that a number that ends in 0 is divisible by 10. So if we have a number like 1,320, dahil yung last digit niya ay 0, ibig sabihin, this is divisible by 10. Okay? Now, bakit ganon? A simple illustration would work like this. ba pag nagmumultiply tayo ng number, kunyari 23. Pag nagmultiply tayo nito sa 10, ang ginagawa lang natin is yung 23, lalagyan natin siya ng 0 sa dulo. Okay? So again, any number na ang dulong digit ay 0, ang once digit ay 0, yan ay divisible by 10. Okay? So that's very easy. Next, we're going to use the same number, 1,320, kasi figure out naman natin kung divisible siya sa 11. Now, ang rule sa 11, it's a little more detailed, pero bear with me, kaya niyo yan. Ang uh, rule is that um, if the difference between the sum of the digits at the odd, and even places equals 0 or is divisible by 11, then the number is divisible by 11. Now, I know mahaba yung instructions na yan, pero ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano yun gawin. Okay? We're going to start from left to right. mark natin yung mga nasa odd at saka sa even place. Ano lang ibig sabihin nun? You have 1, tas magsiskip ka, and 2, okay? Itong dalawa na to, nasa odd na places sila. So, ang gagawin lang natin, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Okay? We have that. Yan yung sum of the digits sa odd places. Now, doon naman tayo sa even. You have 3 and 0. Ngayon, ano ibig sabihin nun? 3 plus 0 is equal to 3. So, yan yung sum ng digits sa even places. Okay? Or, um, actually, you can call it interchangeable naman yan, depende sa kung saan ka nagsimula, kung sa right o sa left. Okay? Now, ang gagawin natin next is just to subtract yung 3 from yung 3. Okay? So, 3 minus 3. Okay? Ito yan ha, itong 3 na yan yan. Itong 3 na yan, ito. Now, kapag ang kanila daw difference ay 0 or 11, ibig sabihin yung number ay divisible sa 11. Now, 3 minus 3 is 0, which means a 1,320 is divisible by 11. Okay? Now, paano natin to i-check? Kung gusto ninyo i-check, pwede na lang natin i-divide ito really quickly by 11. Okay? So, 13 divided by 11 is 1. 11, ma-minus lang natin yan. This is just long division, ha? Kung nakalimutan na, ililink ko rin sa taas yung lesson natin sa long division. This is going to be 2. 
Mababa natin yun, 22. 22 divided by 11 is 2. 2 times 11 is 22. Pag minus natin to, 0 na. So, ibig sabihin, 0 lang yung lalagyan natin sa dulo. So, yes, walang remainder. Ibig sabihin, divisible talaga siya by 11. Okay? Now, dahil sa tatlong numbers na pinag-usapan natin ngayon, yung 11 ang pinaka-tricky, here's a leveled up na example. Is this number, 14,520 divisible by 11? I'll give you time. Alright, let's see how you did. So we're going to do the same thing. Kunin natin yung 1, skip, 5, and 0. Pagsasama-samahin natin ito, 1 plus 5 plus 0 is 6. Next, gagawin natin yung mga natitira. 4, skip, and 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. Now, pag minus natin yan, ang lalabas dyan would be 0. Which means na ang 14,520 is divisible by 11. Okay? Next, we're going to look at 12. Now, yung number na 12, to know if um, a number, lalo na a big number, is divisible by 12, you need to check if it's divisible by both 3 and 4. Okay? Now, kapag divisible siya sa 3 at divisible siya sa 4, ibig sabihin, divisible siya sa 12. Now, how do we do that? Simulan natin sa 3. Now, kung ang number ay divisible by 3, and again, nandun siya doon sa first video natin na nakalink din sa taas, i button, ang gagawin natin is i-add lang natin yung digits. So, 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 0. 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 2 is 6, plus 0 is still 6. At kung ano yung sum na yan, kung pwede mo siyang i-divide sa 3, at buo yung sagot, so 6 divided by 3 is 2, ibig sabihin, ito ay divisible by 3. Okay na tayo sa 3. Now, paano naman yung 4? Ang divisibility sa 4, isa sa mga kailangan natin gawin, is to look at the last two digits. Now, bakit ganon? Kasi yung last two digits ang magdedetermine kung yung number na ay divisible sa 4. Ang 100 kasi ay divisible sa 4. So, dahil ang lahat ng hundreds ay uh, bumubuo ng thousand, basta ano, lumampas na siya dyan, divisible na yun sa 4. So, 1,300 divisible sa 4. Pero to find out kung ano yung buong number, titinan lang natin last two digits. Now, dahil ang 20 ay pwede mong i-divide sa 4, lalabas ay 5, ibig sabihin divisible din siya sa 4. At dahil okay siya sa 3, okay siya sa 4, ibig sabihin this number, 1,320 is divisible din by 12. Okay? So again, yun yung rule natin. Dapat divisible siya sa 3 at sa 4. Hindi pwedeng isa lang sa kanila. Alright, now it's time for your quick quiz. Uh, if you're ready with your pen and paper, all you're going to do is to check kung ito bang number na ibibigay ko sa inyo ay divisible sa 10, 11, at 12. And your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. So, ang number natin is 38,808. Para malaman kung divisible siya sa 10, kailangan ang dulong number ay 0. Which, hindi yun ang case dito. Which means, hindi ito divisible by 10. Okay? Now, to find out naman kung divisible siya by 11, ang kailangan natin gawin is, di ba kukunin natin yung mga odd na, 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 na places ng numbers at saka yung even na places ng numbers. So, simulan natin dito sa 3, 8, at isa pang 8. Now, ang 3 plus 8 is 11, plus 8 is 19. Okay? Now, kunin naman natin yung nasa, ano, nasa even a place. You have 8 and 0. Now, 8 plus 0 is 8. Now, ima-minus lang natin yan. 19 minus 8 is equal to 11. Now, sabi natin, if it's 11 or 0, at dahil 11 siya, divisible ang 38,808 sa 11. Check tayo dyan. 
Next, we're going to look at 12. Now, sabi natin kailangan pasok siya sa 3 at sa 4. Okay? Unahin natin sa 3. Ia-add natin sila lahat. So, 3 plus 8 is 11, plus 8 is 19, plus 0, 19 pa rin, plus another 8 is going to give us 27. Now, dahil ang 27, pag dinivide natin sa 3 ay 9, ibig sabihin, divisible siya sa 3. Now, check na natin yung 4. Tingnan natin yung last two digits. Last two digits, 0, 8, or 8. Dahil ang 8 ay pwedeng i-divide sa 4, di ba? Ang kalalabasan ay 2. Ibig sabihin, divisible din siya sa 4. Which means, this number is also divisible by 12. Okay? So, yan yung sagot natin. Hindi siya pwede sa 10, pero pwede siya sa 11 and 12. Now, yung mga nagtatanong, isan ko ito gagamitin? Sa totoo lang, marami siyang applications. Pwede nyo siyang gamitin kapag hinahanap nyo yung square root. Pwede nyo gamitin pag nagpa-factor na kayo. Pwede nyo siyang gamitin kapag nag-divide kayo ng, uh, or nag-multiply ng mga fractions para alam nyo kung ano yung ika-cancel. So again, marami itong applications and I'm hoping na makatulong ito sa inyo para bumilis kayo sa math. Okay? Alright, now I hope you got this all correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at Like Amaravillo on Instagram for the new quick quiz questions na pinapost ko sa Instagram story. Uh, may function kasi doon na quiz kaya malalaman nyo agad kung tama kayo o mali. And kung gusto nyo naman i-check out yung mga throwback quick quiz questions natin, you, go, you can go and check out yung at Team Laika on Instagram. Sa story doon, doon natin ginapost yung mga dating mga quick quiz questions na relevant pa rin hanggang ngayon. And if you are on TikTok, you can follow me at Team Laika for the educational content, yung math, science, uh, language, logic questions natin. And if you want to learn more naman about me, if you want motivational videos, tips, and advice, you can follow me at Like a Maravilla on TikTok. All right? See you online. All right. I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and you exam din sila. That way, we'll be able to help And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I made during the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash team like. You can also subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell icon para hindi mo miss yung mga paparating pa lang na lessons. Marami pa tayong pag-uusapan. And as always, as we always say sa channel na to, never stop learning. Adja, adja. Kain yan. I'll see you in my next video. And bye for now.